Good afternoon, Jeff's Club. Welcome back, to the channel, and welcome to my picks for the best maps of 2023. As Christmas is almost here and the year has almost ended, this has been actually a really good year for new maps on Farming Simulator. A lot of these mappers push the boundaries for what could actually be done on a map. We have seen brand new maps add new features like swathable crops, new animals, and finally, lots and lots of snow to remove in the winter. Gotta love winter, right? There was some other amazing maps that didn't make it onto this list, but they were pretty amazing too. I don't actually think I actually played any bad maps this year. Now, remember, before we get into any of these, these are my picks, so yours could be a lot different. Now, a few things before we get started. First, let me know in the comments your top five maps for 2023. Second, don't forget to smash that like button. Let's hit that 500 mark. Third, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Now last, go grab something to drink. And finally, here are my top five maps for 2023. Number five, we have a map from the past. This is the Valley the Old Farm from Black Sheep Modding. Uh, was at 328.98 megabytes on this European style fictionist map with 93 fields, which is crops and meadows, and 18 perchable forest plots. You could choose between cereal, crops, livestock. Uh, there was cattle, sheep, pigs, or forestry, and you could participate in the industrial and commercial development of the region. This map actually added two new crops in the greenhouse. It added melons and red lettuce, and also a new crop was added onto the map, which was alfalfa. This map also had collectibles, which some of them were actually up in trees. So definitely check out this map, guys. This was a map that was on FS19, and it is still good in FS22. Number four on the list, we have American Falls from our good friend Lancy Boy. This came out at 416.79 megabytes. This is from the same creator of that famous, famous map, Stone Valley. It actually has kind of a backstory. The backstory says, you have a big job to do on this map. The previous owner here once had a farm in Illinois called Stone Valley. Came here looking for work and American Falls needed a farmer. So this actually included a lot of brand new stuff you don't see on many other maps. Uh, here is some of the new stuff. For one of the things, actually, shops have opening and closing times. Opens up at 8 a.m. and closes at 1600. Mud system if you're on PC. Uh, the fields flood like they did on Stone Valley. Riverbanks flood. A working road cat eyes. Four new custom crops, alfalfa, rye, flax, and clover. Uh, 4D moddings, uh, slurry textures. Uh, new maize crop textures from Benji. Soybeans were actually in rows. Uh, this also added alfalfa silage clamps. Auction David's custom lighting was actually on there. So there was a lot of cool stuff you can actually see on this map. If you have not taken a look at this map, I would definitely highly suggest it. Number three on the list, I would have to say Court Farm Country Park from Auction David, 955.18 megabytes. This was a big map and a lot of people were waiting on this one. Anyways, this map is based in Banwell, Somerset, UK. Anyways, this is a replica of the real life farm and its surroundings. Real life PDA map. New animals were actually added onto this map like rabbits. New wind effects, which that was something completely new in farming similar. Actually being able to see the crops actually move with the wind. Uh, four main farms were on here, plus many more smaller yards. Custom lighting and color grading. Animated objects across the map. Custom textures, PBR with parallax mapping, custom traffic, over 100 HD new models made by Oxford David himself, 144 fields with missions, 207 farmlands, custom foliage and ground textures, custom sounds, interior farmhouse, precision farming support, and mud mod support. So this had a lot of new stuff that we didn't see in any other maps. And if you're into European maps, guys, this will be your map. This is the number one European map out right now. Number two on the list we have is, you guys probably thought it was gonna be probably Edgewater or something like that. No, it's actually Alma, Missouri. 
Yes, I should have probably put this in number one, but I didn't want my bias to come out a little bit on this one. But anyways, this map is Alma, Missouri from Chilbalki. It's 939.08 megabytes. Uh, welcome to Alma, Missouri. This map is based on the small, beautiful town of Alma in the state of Missouri, US. The vast majority of buildings, residential and commercial on the main street are modeled after real buildings found in the city, as well as traffic signs and street markings. Of course, due to gameplay, some things have been changed and some have been added, but the feeling of a small American town had been retained. So this map added a bunch of new stuff. For one thing is when it hits winter, guys, there is going to be a lot of snow on the ground. Also added all those custom crops you see on the other maps, like I believe flax was one. There's also pumpkins. You can make pumpkin pies. There's pizza. There's methane. There's propane. There's a built-in corn dryer so you can actually dry your corn. I mean, there is tons and tons of stuff to do on this map. There's even more custom greenhouses that added new fruits like apples, oranges, lemons, and then treaded pineapples. Yes, there's also a building to make juice fa juice factory with new products like apple juice, orange juice, lemonade, and pineapple juice. Added also a bakery that can make apple pie, a pizzeria, like I said, that can make pineapple pizza. Uh, there's also fermenting silo where you can actually turn your grass, dry grass, chaff, and alfalfa to silage along with methane, gas, and digestate. So if you're looking for a U.S. map, this is the map right here. So download this. Now, my number one map for 2023 would have to be Edgewater, Saskatchewan from South Sass Modding and BC Bueller Farms. 257 megabytes now this map right here guys was the game changer this map is based in of course saskatchewan canada this thing has 53 fields with unique field shapes which i love that i'm not a big fan of the whole you know square fields uh let's see three new crops were added that we never seen before flax lentils and peas and then swathable crops swathing was not available on any other map before this uh, you can actually swath wheat, barley, oats, flax, and canola. And this map also had a custom co-op, which you don't see that very often too. You can actually purchase your own seeds, fertilizer, herbicides, and limes. We actually need more American maps to actually have those co-ops. It's a lot easier going there instead of going to the store and getting stuff. This map also had a custom terrain, uh, sorry, custom train and traffic vehicle, custom water source with three locations around the map, flax bells and custom TMR mixture. Grain can also be used to feed the mixture, custom precision farming map, custom crop calendar and weather, and tons and tons of snow falling during the winter, which this was the first map that actually had all that snow that actually fell on the winter that you see now on other maps like Alma, Missouri. But anyways, guys, that is my top five maps for 2023. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys think I actually missed some or if I needed to add some or they should have been in different order, let me know in the comments section below. Like always, it's been an amazing 2023, guys. And also, if you did like the video, a like would be appreciated. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. See you guys in the next video. Peace. I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth